I see. They'll, uh, they'll have a good movie for you. Yeah. And uh, you'll get to Hawaii about, uh, you're going to leave at 9, you get to Hawaii about 11 o'clock at night. I think there's only, uh, actually, there's only two hours time when you fly. We'll be flying mostly in the dark, won't we? Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, 9 o'clock it'll be dark. And it'll be dark when you get to Hawaii. And I think you'll have, um, you'll have an hour in Hawaii, and then uh, they'll refuel there. We'll have more than an hour, won't we? Just one no, hour. I think you just have one hour, I think. But we take a 747 to... Uh, take a 747. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, that's all the way. It's the same wide. plane all the way, yeah. yeah. I read the advertisement, Glenn. It says, we'll have to forget about putting them in with the little rock girls of Tahiti. There you go. And get them on that 747. But you should try to arrange coming back through Tahiti. And I will I will have uh, Yvonne tell the girls to expect you. They may be returning before you get to Tahiti. But uh, you should stay there. That's a that is some that's another kind of world. Well, is it no, oh yeah. We went to no, I never have, but I understand it's just something great. Yeah. I'd like Sweet. to stop there for maybe a day coming back. Yeah. Relieve all of our business tensions and we can spend all the money we made. Well, okay. let's get in the left lane because you got to park in the parking lot right across the street there from uh, the uh, Pan Am. It's at International, uh, the International Station right here, right? Look at those okay. Two Next one on down. Don't turn here. Ah, oh, that's you are magnificent looking boy. I take really good pictures. I like, I like that other one that. Uh, Which one? Huh? Well, this. Uh, why didn't you have your hair cut like that? <laughs> Uh, that was in 69. Uh, that, that. that was you were a handsome boy. This is a, this a, that's a good that's a really pretty good picture of you there. No, I took it myself. Did you? Uh -huh. You took it yourself. Yeah. How'd you do that? Set the camera? Huh? <laughs> no <laughs> kidding? Uh -huh. Please lock your car. Do not leave articles on. <laughs> I like that. Very good. Very good. Oh, you guys are going. No, I'm going to be left all by myself. Well, we're going down to the marina again. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I get rid of it, huh? Kevin, you get the feeling that somewhere along the way, <laughs> there's a little bit of a rush involved here? After you guys are gone, I'm going to really miss you, you know? I'm not going to think this solitary life is so great when that happens, but until then, why? I'm going to try to keep thinking positive about it, Kevin. Solitary life? Now you're... Now you're... Now you're talking. What are you... Don't hang on to Glenn. If he's got to move, let him move, you know. I mean, he, he says, I got to go to the mine. Don't say, what am I going to do? Say, fine. See? Because there's a lot of, really, there's a lot of times when he has to get in there and do the thing, and he can't be looking after you, you know. And he, you don't need to be looking at him. I don't mean it in that sense. But, I, but you just be independent and say, Glenn, forget it. I'm, you know, take off. And, um... Uh, and, and find something to do. Get a get a tour book. And take a tour. You know, spend five bucks and take a tour on a bus. Look around. I want you to see everything. Get the museum. Get to the zoos. Uh, what else is there? Churches, uh, bars. You know, you, you guys travel with me. Geez, you've been traveling with me since I took you to that sawmill when you were about three years old and you found that little uh, cat. You know, yeah. but. Um, it's, it was always a problem, so what to do with you? Well, you guys are big men now, and just don't hang on, because, boy, when Glenn's got to move, he's got to go. He can't fool around at all. Yeah, okay, well, I'll take care of my yeah. part. And also, if we get into a mine, you want me to kind of lay off. I've seen a lot of mines and a lot of foundries, so... If you want to see all the mines, you can get into it. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. That's mine. why you're going. People yeah. can move, we can come in contact. And you want to meet all There'll the guys. No problem. And, uh... So, you know, I mean, you can feel your way along, and uh, uh, they'll be glad to see you, Kevin. God, they're glad to see Americans when you get over there. But uh, just, just, Glenn is, uh, Glenn is the big star of the show, and uh, whatever you can do to help Glenn, you can make a phone call, if you can drive a car, if you can make an appointment, if you can contact those guys that we're going to interview in uh, Perth. Yeah. All those guys. I'll take, if you want reservations in the hotel, I can take care of that. Too. Just imagine Glenn is Al and that you're Tommy, see? And uh, you know, all he got it. It's just Al and Tom on the road. And uh, all you have to do is just see that the big star makes the show. I remember the first time that we met, he had a, a shovel tooth, like they're using on the front of these buckets. It was on his desk, 
Uh, and it just doesn't belong on anybody's desk. And he's, he's, he's sitting there and he's stroking his, his shovel to me. <laughs> and he said, someday you'll know how good this feels. And he said, this is quality casting. This is what we're talking about. You're going to get so involved in it that you just won't want to go anyplace but to the mine. <laughs> and when you see yeah. each one of those buckets wearing out an eighth of an inch of metal, I mean that just sends that just sends chill blains right up your arm when you think of all that metal you're going to have to produce. I mean you can really get enthusiastic about that. And when that great big Marion 5,600 shovel throws that bucket out there and sucks that dirt back up there and it's cold, you know, and uh, you see more metal roll off of that thing. I mean you you know you really you're on Broadway, you know, you really are right at the top of the heap. Just give you a great thrill, doesn't it, Glenn? It does. I mean, I give you a thrill, Kevin, but it gives us. It's going to give you a thrill pretty soon when you start <laughs> taking over the operation. That's when you're going to start to feel that chill going up the arm. When they lay you out there on that plank and you look up at the ceiling and say, uh, geez, I sold more shovel teeth than anybody in the world. That's a good deal. <laughs> I mean, you have to be excited about something to do it. <laughs> really right. start off with it. Yeah. 